Question one, describe the Harlem Children's Initiative. The Harlem Children's Initiative is a community program created by Jeffrey Canada to decrease the educational gap among children from the inner city to children of upper middle class. Embodying the ideas of community psychology, Jeffrey Canada has created a sense of uniformity among the people of Harlem in search for a common goal, the success of children educationally despite their upbringings. Question number two, describe which community intervention components were incorporated into the Harlem Children's Initiative and thus made it successful. The Harlem Children's Initiative exemplifies various community intervention components. Primarily noted would be citizen participation. The citizens of Harlem, New York work together to achieve a common goal in the neighborhood without pay. Parents are bringing their children to the public facilities of the Children's Zone to ensure their children are gaining the best education. It should also be noted that Canada's program also enlists the help of volunteers who work with the children to teach them vital skills across all grades. The idea of networking can also be seen through Canada's initiative. Although not directly involved, Canada's influential program has led to the implementation of these practices across charter schools. It should also be noted that through the Harlem's Children Initiative, children are given free health care, dental care, and mental health care. All of these community organizations share funding through the city budget. The strong network brings about the idea of social capital, as resources such as free health care are provided to children due to their placement in the inner city, a social construct of those less for financially fortunate. Through such a large network of community organizations, Jeffrey Canada has collaborated with private sectors and financial organizations such as Wall Street to obtain proper funding for these programs. With such a large effort provided by the citizens of Harlem, Dr. Freyer was consulted to assess the success of Canada's efforts and has found that it is one of the most successful programs of its kind, eliminating the educational gap among the two groups entirely in three years for math and reducing the gap by half in reading. In an effort to empower other members of the community, community education programs were created to teach parents how to prepare their children for elementary school. Workshops were also created for new mothers and fathers seeking help on how to effectively parent. Concluding the community components of the Harlem Children's Initiative is public policies. The effectiveness of Canada's experiment was so substantial that President Barack Obama announced plans to create 20 similar promised neighborhoods across the country in neighborhoods such as Los Angeles, Detroit, and San Antonio. Question 3. Explain how these program components would affect community members' stress, coping, and social support, and resilience. It is interesting to note that Barbara Downbrand found that a person's reaction to a stressful situation may vary across individuals. This variation is the result of the psychological, physical, and intervening factors which differ among people as well. For the residents of Harlem, New York, residents face chronic stress related to being a minority race and financial status, which in turn relates itself to lower academic achievement and physical health problems. Jeffrey Canada is aware of the situation at hand and has implemented the Harlem Children's Initiative as a community organization focusing on the proper education of minority children in order to bring, bridge the educational gap and provide the opportunity to overcome future financial burden. The Harlem Children's Zone also provides mental, physical, and dental support to those who need it to combat the stress factors faced by the citizens. Through the citizen participation occurring due to Canada's initiative, both parents and children are engaging in active coping styles. While some may also be engaging in emotion-focused or problem-focused coping styles, those participating for the common goal by coping with the situation at hand demonstrate resilience and social support from the community. The emotional and instrumental support provided by the parents, volunteers, and workers of Jeffrey Canada's program allow the children of the community to have a positive impact on the education and health. This, in turn, supports the idea that the children of those in these types of programs become more resilient to their environment as they have similar opportunities to those of the majority of students.